in 2023, this is the latest information about how to start a TikTok shop, how to set it up and how to sell your products on a TikTok. I'm going to do each and everything with you. I'm going to show you each and everything on the screen. Let's not waste any of your time. Like the video and let's get started. So the first thing is you need to go on Google. You can do this on your mobile phone. You can do it on a computer. The process is same. I'm going to show you everything on the screen as well. So on the Google, you're going to type TikTok UK shop setup, right? This one, UK, US, wherever you're from, process is pretty much similar. I'm in UK, so I selected UK. You're going to select this option which is sell more on a TikTok shop, become a UK seller, like seller uk.tiktok.com. You're going to select that particular option. And this will actually take you to the shop setup, which I'm going to show you. It taking me to the page where to my actual shop because I have a shop, but it's going to ask you to sign up, which I'm going to show you how it's going to look like. So first of all, once you're going to sign up for the TikTok shop, it's going to ask you, are you doing as an individual or you are a corporate? So the difference between if you are a sole trader, like a one man army, then you're going to, you know, select as an individual. If you are a corporate, like you have, let's say a limited company, then you're going to select the corporate option. It doesn't really matter much at this point. Most people are likely to be sole trader. So just select the individual one. You can always change later down once your business is doing well as well. So select the individual option. The second thing is going to be the shop name. And this is also important right here. And it you have to keep in mind that you can always, always change the shop name. So you can select at any shop name at this point, but you can always change that. So I'm just going to select Zensha at this point. One thing to keep in mind, if you are not a British citizen, you don't have a British passport or British driving license, it can be learner or it can be full driving license. That's the only thing you can send it to them. You cannot send your, let's say you are from a different country, they will not accept that passport and they will not even accept the resident permit as well. If that resident permit, you have it from a home office because that's what they clearly say. They do not accept the, your biometric resident permit. It can be only UK passport and UK driving license. They do accept the learner one. I know somebody who actually signed up for the account using a learner one. It doesn't have to be the full, the red, pink, the driving license one. So driving license, the option, or you want to go for the passport, that's absolutely fine. Then you need to actually upload the picture for that driving license right here. And then you just simply put your postcode, select the country right here, and then select the county, like, you know, London, wherever, and then put your residential address right here. And then just simply click on submit. It can take a couple of days from you from them to actually reply back to you as well but once this verification is done then you can go to the next step which i'm going to show you to actually set up your shop so once you submit all the requirements like you upload the picture of your passport and driving license click submit it's going to bring on to this page and this is kind of your central hub this is where you're gonna see your orders this is where you're gonna put your products per sale as well, all that kind of stuff. It's going to be your back end for your TikTok shop as well. So this is super important to actually understand how this is going to work. So first of all, the sh you need to set up your shop. So once we need to set up your shop before we upload any kind of products, I'm just going to simply click on upload now. And then it's going to ask you to who will be the person who will be managing all the business. So we can put like, I'm going to put my name right here, then Sha, right? And now I can put my telephone number here to kind of give it like, you know, this is the telephone number. Or if you are a business, I highly recommend keeping that number separate at the same time, because this is going to be super important. This is where you're going to put your 
post code and if you have like a warehouse and you allow the pickup address as well even though you don't allow the pickup you need to put this one as well because this is going to be your return address at the same time so once you put all that click on start to add the product and this is where you're going to be uploading your actually products for the sale so once you set up the return address for the business and then this is the kind of main hub i walk you through it a little bit so you will be able to understand what each and everything does and then i will actually show you how to actually add the new product as well so on a home page this is where you will be able to see your summary if there is a part of things which are kind of pending and you need to do that it will ask you to actually do all of that so at this point i obviously need to list some products and then this one will be filled as well this is whatever the products that you're going to list it's going to come right here so all of your products it's going to show right here and then we're going to come back and add new products and i'm going to show you how does that work in a product optimizer right here these are the products it will tell you these are the things we need to actually do to get more sales so once you will have the product you will actually able to see what you can do to actually improve on your store as well add a new product this is where we're going to be adding a new product but i'm going to come back i'm going to show you just going to walk you through how each and everything is working at this point as well all right so once we obviously get the orders right in the batch tool i don't want to go into more detail of that because most likely everybody will be listing the product one by one but if you have a multiple products that this is where you're gonna be uploading like a csv files and templates and those kind of stuff as well but this is more technical it you 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 know at this point we don't really need it and then the manage the stock this is where it will be able to show you how much stock do you have what's selling all those kind of stuff or if you are partnering up with some kind of other brand and you have a permission to sell the stock level from them is going to be shown right here which is more kind of advanced kind of thing as well here you're going to be able to see your orders how many orders you got and then if somebody have cancelled order then in a manage cancellation and then if you have some kind of returns then it's going to come in a return section right here if it's in a process completed this is all very basic and the thing which i really like about tiktok is as compared to let's say amazon and ebay they made it very simple for anybody to understand all that kind of stuff as well shipping at this point you know this is where you're going to be creating your shipping labels this is it going to show you how many orders you need to ship in the terms of like let's say 24 hours all that kind of stuff you can create your shipping templates here as well if you want to you know multiple shipping options that you can actually offer let's say we got every right here or we want to ex offer express shipping we can turn that on as well or if we are using some kind of other let's say uh you know provider these are all the provider right here you will be able to use all of that and this is very simple to do all that kind of stuff as well but most of the tiktok i know every they use it it's really really cheaper it's really going to be depending on what type of items you're going to sell as well here in a promotions this are these are more kind of paid campaigns of the promotion so i wouldn't really go into that because what we're going to focus on is actually making organic videos and then trying to bring the traffic over to the tick shop shop right here as well. So that wouldn't really matter at this point. In a finance option, that's really, really important because this is how we obviously going to get paid at the end of the day. You know what I mean? So if we go down to bills section, it will show you how much fee or any type of return that the tiktok is actually charging you all of that it's gonna be shown right here like all the settlements and all that kind of stuff as well in a payment section it's going to show you how much like the payment you have received and after the cut all that kind of stuff how much money you will be able to withdraw into your bank account so obviously once you receive a little bit of money you will be able to set that up inside right here so now i'm going to show you how to actually list the product on a tiktok shop because this is where you know you're going to list the products and then the sale will come and we're going to talk about a couple of other things as well but if you so far getting any kind of value from this video 
please i like to make these kind of tutorial and help me to reach to let's say 100000 subscribers hit that subscribe button it will be a massive help subscribing to channel is completely free doesn't cost you anything so now i'm going to show you how to actually list the product or do tiktok shop i'm going to walk you through step by step each and everything going to be right here on the screen as well so on your product section which is this will be the first one right here you click on a product and then you go to add new product on to the add new product first you're gonna put the product name so whatever the product that you want to list and this is very important because this will be the title of your product as well so let's say i want to list iphone charging cable it can be anything at this point but the thing is this is just for the sake of example make sure you select the right category because this is very very important to show your product inside the right category as well so this is cable and charges and adopter as soon i'm gonna actually select this category this category second section will be auto filled as well so first of all you need to make sure whenever you will type the title of the product you also select the relevant recommended keywords underneath it as well because these keywords are proven to bring the traffic according to the tiktok algorithm so if something is relevant you're gonna have to choose it from these options right here as well so let's say if i'm listing a product it's made of let's say a metal then i'm gonna choose a metal as well or i'm gonna choose t PU as well so whatever will be the relevant this is just for the sake of tutorial i have choose these two words right here but these words as many are they are relevant and as many you can actually add inside your title they will really optimize your title as well so mostly you don't have to worry about choosing a category manually i found the uh, as soon you actually type the title the category that automatically is suggested from a tiktok is happen to be the most relevant one okay in a brand section if your product is branded and as long as you have a permission from that brand you need to make sure you do have a relevant permission but if your product is generic in my case this is like a very generic cable is not made by apple so i'm just gonna choose no brand but if it's a brand then you need to have authority to sell that particular brand as well if you choose and you're not authorized to sell that brand then it will ask you to get the brand permission and then it will also show up in the the section right here on the side so if i scroll down a little bit it will show on the tip side right here you can see if i move my side right here this way and you can see this one on this side it says that if you do have a permission to sell that particular brand then you first need to apply the permission and then you need to fill this particular form as well so once you fill this form then as soon as you're gonna go into the section where it's gonna show you uh, to select the brand as well right here then if you have a authority sell for that particular brand it gonna show that you are authorized and you will be able to choose that particular brand so for no no brand because it's a generic item voltage if obviously if it's supported then we you can choose that right here depending on a product this can be different as well okay so first of all it is asking you to put the image of the product you can put nine images up to nine images but tiktok recommend minimum having three images and these are must if you don't have three images i wouldn't like even bother to upload my product because minimum three images are really really good and then you're gonna go there and select the image from the computer and that will be uploaded right here this is optional as well if because if you really want your product to be successful and get a lot of sale tiktok suggests that upload one image which have a white background as well so this will be super super helpful this is a product description section right here 
So in a product description section right here, what I normally suggest is keep it to the point. I like to use the bullet points right here. And then I'm going to just type a couple of things. You don't need to type the shipping and payment. And I see a lot of people making it too long typing. OK, we're going to ship the product in these days. Buyer can already see how long it's going to take for them to actually get that product. And also what payment method they can actually use to pay for the product as well. So here, just type the to the point relevant information about the product and that's it you can also add a video right here and i suggest adding a video like a really short maybe 1 to 15 second videos that is super helpful and also if that video will go viral that will also bring a lot of traffic to your uh, product that you are selling as well other couple of things that you can do if your product have a variation so for example let's say you are selling a t-shirt you can add those variation and you can also add different images for those particular variations as well so i can select the one right here if that one is not right here you can actually type the variation so let's say my one is a size I can actually type size and I can choose that and that will be added and what size let's say I go to small and then I go to medium and then I go to large just for the sake if I was let's say selling a product which had a variation and I can also upload a different images of the, those particular products so if it was a different color then you can choose a color or if different specification you got the point you can upload different images for that does your product have a identifier code so if it has then you can actually click yes and add that particular code and uh, let me tell you what those code normally look like in the just in case if you don't know what that code will be so a lot of products that you're gonna buy gonna have some kind of barcode on it so those barcode gonna look like let's say i am selling this tissue paper and if you look closely under the barcode there are actually numbers and these numbers actually call product identifier number if your product have them then you're gonna put those one right here where it say gtin and if your product don't have it then that's fine you can just leave that empty so that that will be fine as well so retail price this is where you're gonna put your price that you want to sell on obviously i have created a variation so i can choose a different price for different item as well and then this is where you need to put the weight of the item and then dimension of the item as well because this is the way the calc uh, the, the postage will be calculated so let's say my product is 500 gram and then i can put by height width and length as well so make sure these are right because the shipping will be calculated according to the dimension of the product as well and then delivery option you can choose the custom one if you are let's say offering a different type of delivery let's say you have uh, uh, express delivery where you charge a little fee for that or you are offering like a standard shipping which will be free for everyone you can always choose these one from here as well and then the warranty and also these kind of policies as well if you want to add them i don't normally bother about them and then just click on publish so as soon as you're going to click on publish your product will be ready for sale on a tiktok shop so tiktok have a lot of user base right now and this is very very under competitive at this point as well i will be making more advanced tutorial please subscribe to the channel for that i've been selling on ebay and amazon from past 10 years and i see this opportunity it's really really great number one thing you want to do you want to create as much content on a tiktok and linking to your products you know showing your products inside that particular videos this is the way you will be able to drive the organic traffic i would say minimum minimum when i talk about quantity minimum minimum two videos per day you should be uploading at least 14 to 15 videos every single week in order for you to actually see a very very life-changing results from a tiktok and this is literally gonna save your life as well so the thing is at the end of day this is free publicity use it as much you can before these things will change i'm going to link one video right here this is going to be super helpful click on that one and see you there